How, how do you hold on to your vision when everything is going wrong? Like for me, it's like I, I've given myself, I'm, I'm at a different mental plane than a lot of people, but you know, it has to work or it has to work. I really mean that. Yep. I became mentally unemployable. I've never in the last 15 years ever questioned, well, I wonder if this is going to work. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to work. I didn't know when, but how do you hold on to your vision when everything is going wrong? It has to work or it has to work. So I think what happens is people don't really believe in the vision. Yeah. Mm. Like, like it, it is not as hard. So I always say that behavior is connected to belief. Yeah. So Ooh. behavior, behavior is married to belief. That's good. Right. Wow. Like behavior is married to what you believe in. So if I say, yo, man, I want to be the healthiest person I can be. Well, do I believe I can be that healthy person? And if I believe I can be that healthy person, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have behavior that's conducive to me being a healthy person. Meaning, yo, I can't be eating the McDonald's. Yo, I can't be eating candy all day. I can't drink the, the, the drinks with the high fructose corn syrup. I can't eat at one o'clock in the morning because that, 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 that behavior isn't conducive to me saying what I believe. Mm. So if I tell myself, trap, Boom, we are building out a media company. All right, cool. I don't care what nobody else doing. I don't care what nobody else doing, bro. When we walked in that studio, bro, it was empty. It was nothing. It had wires everywhere. I had to go in that visionary. Okay, this is what we doing. Okay, we're going to paint the walls. All right, I need to get a production team. I don't know crap about production. All right, let me go holler at some people I know who do production so they can give me the right way. Again, this ain't about to turn overnight. I got the building in January, bro. I ain't shoot the first show till August. Wow. Mm. I had to go in that studio. We had to put our own lights up. I had to put my own studio. I'm talking about, I ain't talking about just studio lights. I'm talking about regular turn the lights on so we can see. It's pitch black. Right. Mm. I had to put those lights all the way through there. I had to paint those walls. I had to bring somebody in to paint the walls. You got the whole warehouse space for the I had merch. To, I had to put lights back there. I had to bring my cousin in. Hey, cuz, here's my vision. Do you believe in it? I'm going to help you. You help me. Cuz, I believe. Move in. Cuz ain't got nowhere to go. My house is not ready. I, cuz been on the Airbnb since April. Mm. I've been paying for that. Mm. 3200 a month. And I got to pay him. Yeah. You feel me? I'm, I'm in the vision. Yeah. The vision. Hey guys, when I was struggling, bad credit, didn't know what I was gonna do next, all I could think about was, how was I gonna be able to provide for my family? And you may be looking at that video and you may be thinking the same exact thing like, man, Everything isn't going right right now, right? I need you to understand that wasn't me all the time. Like, my dad been in jail since I was two years old for committing murder. I got kicked out of high school. I got kicked out of college. I've been fired from 10 jobs. I'm from the drug-infested West Philadelphia streets, right? So the, the lifestyle that I'm now living, being able to retire my mom, retire my wife, buy my dream homes, right? Build a dream home, right? Employ over 30 people. Like, all of these things that you see now, it sound cool, but it wasn't always that way. So if you're looking at this video, I want you to say this to yourself. My current situation is not my final destination. Another thing I want you to say to yourself is I'm a first generation millionaire. It won't be my last. You must make up in your mind that it is your full responsibility to be the provider for your family. You must make up in your mind. I must find a way to make my life work for me. I must find a way to make this business thing work for me. I must find a way to create an additional stream of income. Right? So I'm here to let you know it's possible. I'm here to let you know keep going. I'm here to let you know don't quit. And for anybody looking like trying to figure out what could be a way that I can get started. Like I've been hearing the buzzword real estate for a very long time. I heard about wholesaling. I heard about fix and flips. I heard about rehab. And oftentimes a lot of those things take a lot of money for you to get started, right? I found this unique way to get inside the real estate industry that 99% of people online is not talking about. And that is through event spaces where your credit isn't a huge factor, right? Where you come up or 20, 30, 40, 50% to buy a commercial building isn't a huge factor, right? I'm going to show you how to find a location. I'm going to show you how to fund a location. I'm going to show you how to automate the process so this can work for you, y'all. So if you're looking at this video and would like to learn more, I'm hosting a free web class. I'm going to literally share with you guys everything that I've done. I've ran these last, last venues for the last six years. And I want to show you every mistake I made. And then I want to show you the formula I did to help me find them, fund them, and automate it even if you don't have bad credit, even if you don't have a down, down payment, any of that. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down. So click the link below or go to eventspacemasterclass.com. We're gonna show you how to do it. The vision costs you. 
Freedom is the most expensive thing you will ever buy. Mm. Ain't cheap. Having a vision ain't cheap. Being successful ain't cheap. It's expensive. Mm. It's going to cost you your old beliefs. It's going to cost you your old life. It's going to cost you everything. The problem is when people realize the expense of success and freedom, they settle. Mm. It's, it costs too much. Mm -mm, that I ain't willing to pay that. And so the price of not being free is your old life. Mm. Th that's the price. Yeah. And so for me, it's do you feel you're worthy? Yeah. I'm going to go back to that because it's not complicated. We have lack of belief in ourselves. We have lack of beliefs in our, I don't know nothing about this. I don't know nothing about media, building a media company. Yeah. But that just because I don't know don't mean I don't believe I can build it. Mm. That's the difference. Just because I do not know it, it does not mean I don't believe I can't build it. Because mm. I can learn on the way. The mistakes are a part of the game. They ain't meant to discourage me. The mistakes is made to tell me how bad do I want it. Mm. 